today is my 100th booktube video and in the time I've been doing booktube I've done quite a lot of book tags and there are a couple of questions that I notice keep cropping up in those. Things like what is your favourite guilty pleasure or what book do you hide when you're out in public or what books do you say you've read to sound intelligent and today I want to talk about why those questions make me sad. So let's do this. Hi everybody, it's Lydia here. Firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my channel. I've done a hundred booktube videos. How on earth did that happen so quickly? I can't quite believe it, but I'm so grateful for you for watching because I love doing this and I love this community and you guys are awesome and yeah, group hug. Anyway, today's discussion is just something that I've been thinking about over the last couple of months and it's come to my attention almost that there are some books that people feel almost ashamed to read and that really makes me sad because the great thing about literature and writing in general is that there is no limit to the imagination and you can literally write about anything you want and as a result we have literally millions and millions of books around the world that cover all sorts of topics and discussions and genres that's amazing I mean that is pretty kind of awesome that we can spread storytelling in that way and it's amazing and I love it so why should we be ashamed of certain genres and certain books that we read let's think of it a different way from an author's point of view it can take months and often years to even write a first draft of a book and then you have to write a second draft and a third draft and a fourth draft and then you send it off to be edited and re-edited and then it goes to the publishers and it has to be artworked and formatted and all that stuff and then they have to print it and then they have to ship it out to bookstores or in this day and age they have to ship it globally to your home and just think about how long it takes from the moment that little spark of idea pops into the author's head to the moment that you actually sit down to read it. I mean, it's a long, long period of time, regardless of what the book it is about. It's quite a long time. And that in itself is a pretty impressive achievement. I mean, having the patience and the will and the desire to produce something merely for someone else, really, because books really are for the readers. Authors become authors because they love writing. and that's great but ultimately when you write a book you're writing it for someone else you're not really writing it for yourself so in a way to spend probably years of your life writing one book just for someone else to read it that's amazing and so why should we be ashamed of any book any book in any genre that has had that amount of work go into it, not just from the author, but from the editors and the publishers and the book agents and the bookstores and the shippers who send it to your house. I mean, it's like a pretty big amount of work that goes into just releasing a book. So why should we ever be ashamed of anything we read because of the amount of work that simply just went into producing that and getting it to you? From a different point of view, there are seven billion people on this planet. If I were to write a book, I'm never gonna write a book because I'm terrible at writing, but if I were, one person on this planet would probably like it because there are seven billion people, so there's a chance that someone would like it. And yet, there's also a very high chance that someone would hate it. But just because there's one person in the world who doesn't like it, shouldn't mean that the person who actually does like it should be ashamed of reading that book. And I see this all the time. It's not just on booktube, it's just something that we all do. We're all ashamed of some things that we've read as if just because they're a certain genre or they're written by a certain person or they're, a, I don't know, chastised by the press or the media or whatever, just because of that, we are ashamed of this book that we've read. And it shouldn't happen and it makes me so so sad that it does because why honestly I want to know why people are ashamed of a book and that is the question isn't it why would you be ashamed of a book why is there any reason to be ashamed of any book I've 
read a lot of books that a lot of people probably wouldn't rate or wouldn't like but I like them and I read them and I enjoyed them so why should I be ashamed of that and why should you be ashamed of that because you shouldn't there is no reason whatsoever on this earth to be ashamed of any book that you've read except maybe if you liked like Mein Kampf or something. There's a lot of stuff been in the media recently about freedom of press and freedom of expression and this is exactly why we need to not be ashamed of books we've read because if someone says to us, oh, why are you reading that book? You know, that's, that's a, why would you read that? Tell them, well, because I enjoy it. Because I want to read it. You know, you have that choice. The chances are, if you're watching this video, then you live in a free world and you are allowed to do what you like and say what you like and be who you are. And that includes reading what you like and reading what you want to. And you should never be ashamed of that. So the next time, you get a question in a book tag or any time that you feel like you should be ashamed of a book that you've read stop stop yourself right there and ask yourself why am i ashamed is it just because someone else doesn't like this book because if it is then that's no reason to be ashamed please 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 if you are watching this video be proud of what you read because it's your choice and no one absolutely no one can judge you on what you read. That's it for today's video. I will be back tomorrow with another video, but until then, be proud of what you're reading. Bye.